Hello, um, I'm Kate McAvoy. Um, a season for nonviolence came into my life at a time when I needed it the most. Um, my father, firefighter John McAvoy, died on September 11, 2001. At that time, I was very young. I was a product of violence and devastation of a small community in Staten Island. My life has been very difficult since. I thought I had the right to live my life angry. I thought I had the right to live my life as I wanted to. But from the ashes I have learned that I needed to rise up against it. And the Temple of Understanding gave me that. For me, peace is not just a state of mind or words on a piece of paper. It is a way of life, and it is real. And this is where I started my path in the Temple of Understanding. Part of my path to peace took me to the slums of Southeast Asia, where I worked for six weeks implementing intervention strategies for prostituted, abused, and abandoned children. Today, Season for Nonviolence continues to help me with my vision of peace. Currently, I work as a social worker in the city and in the streets of New York City. I take shattered lives and I try to put the pieces back together, like Mr. George Anthony and Allison Van Dyke and the Temple of Understanding has done for me. Sometimes as adults, I think we forget that these young children have a reason and a right to be angry. Growing up in such poverty and such despair, we need to teach them that it's okay to be angry. It's what you do with that anger that matters. And if you put that anger towards a positive place and an understanding place, people will hear what you have to say. So I would like to thank you, Season for Nonviolence, for bringing some sunshine back into my life. prestigious and dynamic individuals. Today I stand before you, a young Pakistani American, as a man of peace, although there are times it becomes difficult to embrace this ideal when I become victimized by the bias of others. They do not know the man standing before them. The season for nonviolence has given me a vehicle to drive in the right direction. That peace is not just a definition but it is a living and breathing concept that has found a home in me. I am a voice of peace, influenced by the sacrifice and actions of others. Season for Nonviolence reintroduced me to the teachings of Bohandas Karamchand Gandhi, Basha Khan, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and Mother Teresa. Tonight, I am introduced to the philanthropy of Russell Simmons, the social economic innovation of Major Carter, and the spiritual strength of Bai Sahib, Dr. Mohinder Singh Alawalia. Tonight, I am inspired by their greatness to continue my work through the season of nonviolence. That peace and the possibilities that follow it will provide my generation the opportunity to lead in the right direction. I thank you all for being my inspiration. hearing those powerful, committed, and brilliant outspoken words of these young people, there can be no doubt that our future lives in the hearts, minds, and spirits of the youth and the children of the world, of all different faiths and cultures. The need to reach out and touch them is, was, and always will be of critical importance for each of us and for all of humanity. This is the work of the Temple of Understanding, to touch humanity. I have come to use this acronym when talking about the Temple of Understanding, T for Temple.